So you want to be an artist, but you don't know where to start. Well, you showed up to the right place because I know a thing or two about art and what you need to know to call yourself an artist. First off, you have to ask yourself, why do you want to be an artist? You can be learning so many different things with your free time, like basketball or computers. So why art? Why do you want to pick up the brush, Picasso? Because art is cool as f that's why. You see the magic that happens when other people do their art and how easy they make it look when they draw things. So you got inspired and now you want to do that sh too. But as you probably realize by now, this art stuff is not as easy as it looks. That's why you're watching this video, right? Because you need a little help. And that's what I'm here for, to help you be the best artist that you can be. And when you're stepping inside this art game, especially if you're brand new, there's a couple of unwritten rules that you have to know about first. Don't let the word artist fool you because a lot of artists out there are highly emotional and sensitive as bitches when it comes to art. Which brings me to the first thing that you have to know about in this art game and it's colors. The colors you use are the colors you chose because you like them, right? But you have some childish motherfuckers out there that they think they can own the color blue or better yet, that particular shade of blue just because they used it first. If you see someone use a shade of color that you like and you want to use it too, prepare for point down over here to get mad. You can't use the color blue. If I'm using the color blue, you can't use it because I'm using the color blue. That's for my color palette, so you can't use it. I don't own colors, but you know what you're doing, so no using that shade of blue, okay? It's mine. Who's the dork? Childish shit, right? But it's one of the unwritten rules that you have to know when it comes to using colors. Think of the logic in that first. If one person uses something, nobody else is allowed to use it because they claimed it first. What kind of bullshit is that? They must be a communist or really stupid because they don't have a freaking clue on how economics and capitalism works. You see someone having something cool and now you want that too. It's how the economy works, dumbass. Imagine someone telling you in English class that you can't use Times New Roman font, size 12, because they claimed it first. Get the f out of here. Remember who we're dealing with though. They're not businessmen or economists. You know, people of logic. We're dealing with artists, so they got feelings and shit. So if they're nice with you, you can be nice with them when it comes to using the same colors. But if they're not, and they try to be rude and bossy with you, then you can use whatever the hell color you want because it's a free market out there. But if Poindexter wants to be that much of a bitch about it, just splash a little extra white paint on that blue and be like, ha, now it's a different shade of blue and what? Or you can be like them and pick a different color like red and say, now you can't use red, mother How's that feel? As you can see, this art game can be a little dramatic, so it's up to you to do whatever you want with this information. Which now brings me to my second point, art style. When you first start out, you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's why they have the saying, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. So it's only natural to look at people who do what you want to do and want to be like them. Anyone saying that you can't use someone else's style can go f*** themselves and should not call themselves an artist. Just look at Pablo Picasso. This dude was a straight up gangster with his advice when he said good artists copy great artists steal in boxing some people want to have that muhammad ali style and others want to be a killer like mike tyson different styles go for different people so if you want to draw like jim lee f it you want to draw like jim lee i don't know if you're going to be as good as him though but if you want to do it then you know what go for it because imitation is the highest form of flattery just look at kobe bryant r.i.p kobe when he copied a lot of michael jordan's moves because he just wanted to be like mike if i was in my prime who would i I want to play one on one with. Um, I don't think I lose. Other than Kobe Bryant because he steals all my moves. You can be totally original, or you can copy someone else's style. It's really up to you. And if you're going to copy, take your time with it, and then add your little spin to it, so you can take it further than ever before. And if anyone wants to give you sh for that, this leads me to my third point, and that's not giving a f anyone who plans on calling themselves an artist has to remember that you're going to get criticism for your artwork. Positive or negative, it doesn't really matter. It's only an opinion. So if someone doesn't like what you do, well that's too bad because you don't give a f and it's happening anyway. That's why not giving a f is important because that's when you get some of your best ideas. And if you're not going to give a f should you really trace? Well that's a topic for another time. But that'll be it for this video. Leave me a comment down below which of these art tips you think helped you out the most. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.